Let us see simple pendulum application of Lagrange's equation. In figure, simple pendulum is fixed at point C. At point O, bob is suspended. At point A, downward force is acting that is mg. If theta be the angular displacement of the simple pendulum from the equilibrium position, L is effective length of the pendulum and M is mass of the bob. The displacement arc OA is equals to S that is shown in figure. Also theta is called as generalized coordinate. In Lagrange's system the generalized coordinate is Q but in simple pendulum theta is generalized coordinate. Suppose arc S is equals to L theta, then theta is equals to S upon L. When the pendulum is in motion, there is a kinetic energy T is equals to 1 half mv square, but V is equals to ds upon dt. S is equals to L theta so that dL theta by dt is equals to Ld theta upon dt. But in classical mechanics, single time derivative can be written as 1 dot and double time derivative can be written as double dot. Hence, Ld theta by dt is equals to L theta dot. Therefore, by taking square of velocity, V square is equals to L square theta dot square. Then kinetic energy can be written T is equals to 1 half ML square theta dot square. When Bob at point O, the potential energy of the system is 0. If the Bob at point A, the potential energy can be calculated. V is equals to mg OB. We know that from figure OB is equals to OC minus BC. V is equals to mg L minus L cos of theta. OC is equals to L and BC is equals to L cos of theta. V is equals to mg L inside the bracket 1 minus cos of theta. According to Lagrangian equation or the Lagrangian of any system is equals to kinetic energy minus potential energy. Hence, L is equals to 1 half ML square theta dot square minus MGL 1 minus cos of theta. By taking partial differentiation with respect to theta is equals to minus mgl sin of theta and dl by d theta dot is equals to ml square theta dot square. By using the Lagrangian equation d dt of dl by d theta dot minus dl by d theta is equals to 0. Put these values of dl by d theta dot and dl by d theta, we get d dt of ml square theta dot minus minus mgl sin of theta is equals to 0. Here minus minus get plus so that d dt of ml square theta dot plus mgl sin of theta is equals to 0 d dt of ml square theta dot is equals to ml square theta double dot plus mgl sin of theta is equals to 0. Divide this equation by ml square we get theta double dot plus g upon l sin of theta is equals to 0. This equation represents the motion of a simple pendulum. For small amplitude, 
sin of theta is approximately equals to theta then theta double dot plus g upon l theta is equals to 0 this equation represents a simple harmonic motion of a period that is t is equals to 2 pi under root of l upon g 